Can't, there seems like there's an awful lot of meltwater coming off this glacier. Uh, where's this all coming from? Well, this glacier is melting at a rapid rate, and we've been informed that we've lost almost four meters of ice just this summer alone, just in one year. So it's rapidly down cutting, and uh, we've even noticed at the front of the glacier that it's, it's been lowered uh, even from last year. We have this meltwater channel, lots of water coming across the glacier, and it's dropping into a moulin or a mill well. It's just spiraling down to the base of the glacier. Wow, and we saw something like that near Kamloops, didn't we? Well, we saw the end result because what would normally happen is if there was glacial till, ablation till on this ice, it would be carried in the meltwater stream as glacial fluvial material drops down to the moulin and it would pile up to form a nice conical cane. From there, you get an esker, sands and gravel being deposited underneath the ice. What also may be happening, even though we don't have any ablation till on the glacier, is this meltwater may be reworking the basal till at the end of the, underneath the ice and forming an esker there. So that may be happening. But this is the environment which starts the formation of these large canes and these big eskers that we see on the landscapes across the country.